This time on Wonder Sailing, we get deep into the electrical system. We install a new hatch, pick up our new rudder, and get in the water for the first time since being back in Mexico. Garage sale day! Apparently we've got the best looking store. Ooh, here we do. Look at all those goodies. Yeah, you know, I've been everywhere. Look at that hot salesman. <laughs> and what are you connecting? Um, it's like a answer. new meter. It's like a uh, fuel gauge, whatever, but this is a battery gauge. So I'm going to install that and I can have access to uh, my, my phone. <laughs> Which is for geeks. So. Just you just it. want a cool app to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be more precise. <laughs> sure. And how heavy are those batteries? Uh, they're 100 pounds each. A bit yeah. more. 110 pounds because those are uh, T145, I believe. So, hmm. if I remember correctly. Baby, what do you got to say about those cleats? They're really easy to do. Yeah. Very ergonomic arm positioning. Well, you have to fit your arms through that little uh, um, inspection gate or whatever door and, and after that, uh, well first of all, get those plates that I bought in Vancouver and uh, they didn't have the screws long enough so they only have the bigger size. So it's like okay I'll just drill them and I'm trying to drill them, the screw doesn't sit properly on it so I have to bevel them and kind of create some backing plate. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, after uh, four or five hours, and clawed it. <laughs> Spending on these cleats, now they're uh, installed. Mm, let's see your hands. Look at those poor hands. That's nothing. There's a much more, more blood in this boat. Than, Mine too. Uh, <laughs> look like we did some BSM, yeah. but uh, <laughs> no, we did some boat work. <laughs> What's the secret to cleaning the silicone off? Uh, the hatch frame? Well, you would have never thought of this, but it's a dirty sponge. Because when you pass it, it shows you where there's still silicone because the dirt attaches to it. And then you just peel it off. It's genius. Putting in the new hatch. What's going on? Find your hatch. Oh. Pretty excited. Um, well, I thought it would take about two, three hours to do. Uh, two days later, there we go. <laughs> so, the inauguration of the new hatch. Woo! Yeah. Ow, ow, ow! Where's there the fireworks? Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! After noticing that the water tank was emptying itself on one tack, we decided to pull it out to inspect it and repair it. The only place yeah. I can see that it's leaking, or maybe I guess here, because I think it was one, mostly on one side when we were healing on one side it was leaking. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Kona, what do you got to say about the patch up work? Not much to say, eh? Eric fixed the crack on the tank. He put a few layers of fiberglass on and that should hold up pretty good. It's looking shiny, that's for sure. Tank's out. And I think Mr. Fixed it all found the problem. Yeah, I think we found the autopilot problem. Woo! So we can cross and not have to worry about it. Yay. Uh, just a uh, new cable. Well, actually, well, everything new cable, but these will have new connectors because that was obviously the problem. And uh, that was the last thing I checked, so everything is new now, although everything was already new from the beginning. <laughs> now it's newer. Yeah. And we patched up a scratch on the tank too. The crack, yeah. Crack. So now I reinforced that and uh, I glassed it like four. I think five, five or six uh, layers of fiberglass, so that should be more than strong enough. 
Good for 25 years. Sure. <laughs>secret to surviving all these projects is good food. In Mexico, we're spoiled with the abundance of fresh ingredients. I'm always cooking up a storm and it's the fuel that keeps us going. Almost done? Well, I think there's a fitting I'll need to find, which I'm not quite sure where, but uh, I'll, yeah, I'll need to figure it out. Like that looks good. Yeah, sorry. Nice looking cables, nice and organized. <laughs> cables are nice and clean. Yeah, my cable game is up. Yeah. Ceviche is happening. The fish is curing in the fridge and I'm chopping up some cabbage. And the child is having her 10th nap of the day. Latest upgrade on Black Dragon. I just uh, get those LEDs on the transom. Yeah. Just lighting up the bottom. So it lights up like Walmart in there. 
We drive to Phoenix to pick up our new rudder and fiberglassing materials. Picking up the rudder! Whee! Ah. How exciting! Hopefully it fits in the car. It definitely fits in the boat, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> surgery on my laptop. So scary. Very focused. On the next episode, we head back to the boatyard and start fiberglassing the through holes, as well as the deck to install the new windlass. Thank you so much to our sponsors and our patron family who make this adventure possible. To become part of it, click on the link to the right. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow along the adventure.